Bunkers, airports, and secret societies, they might seem unrelated, but what if I told you they're at the heart of one of the most intriguing conspiracy theories around? Imagine an elaborate bunker hidden beneath the elegant facade of a luxury resort, and an airport said to house secrets as deep as its runways. Today, we're diving into the mysterious world of the Greenbrier Hotel and the Denver International Airport, two locations seemingly worlds apart, yet intertwined in a web of speculation and coincidences. So, buckle up as we take an unprecedented flight into the unknown. The Greenbrier Hotel in West Virginia is not your average resort. This grand establishment has a history as rich and varied as the mineral springs that first brought visitors to the area in the 18th century. Constructed in 1778 as a simple guest house, the Greenbrier grew over the centuries into a sprawling 710-room hotel surrounded by a stunning 11,000-acre estate, complete with golf courses, spa facilities, and fine dining. But beneath this facade of luxury and leisure hides a much more fascinating history. During the Cold War era, as the threat of nuclear warfare loomed, the United States government began secretly constructing a massive underground bunker beneath the Greenbrier, codenamed Project Greek Island. This subterranean structure was designed to serve as an emergency shelter for the United States Congress in the event of a nuclear war. The existence of the bunker was one of the best kept secrets of the Cold War. For over 30 years, it remained fully operational and prepared for use, even as guests above remained blissfully unaware of the government's clandestine contingency plan beneath their feet. It was only in 1992, long after the end of the Cold War, that the bunker's existence was revealed to the public in a Washington Post expose. Today, the Greenbrier's unusual history and its unique blend of opulence and secrecy have made it a fascinating destination for tourists and history buffs alike. The bunker has been transformed into a tourist attraction, where visitors can take guided tours and learn about this remarkable and somewhat eerie chapter in the history of American government preparedness. Denver International Airport, DIA, nestled in the heart of the Rocky Mountains, holds its own aura of mystery. Since its opening in 1995, the airport has become a nexus of conspiracy theories and speculation, largely due to its peculiar art, large size, and unexplained cost overruns. The airport covers an enormous area, a 53 square miles to be precise, making it the largest airport in North America and the second largest in the world. Yet this sheer size raised eyebrows, with skeptics questioning the necessity for such a large airport. Why does a city like Denver need an airport bigger than Manhattan? The controversy deepened with the peculiar and arguably disturbing artwork scattered around the airport. Murals by artist Leo Tanguma, which depict war, environmental degradation and humanity's rebirth, have fed into apocalyptic theories. Then there's the 32-foot-tall horse sculpture with glowing red eyes, nicknamed Blucifer, which is alleged to represent one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The piece de resistance of DIA's conspiracy law is the rumors of secret underground bunkers. Some believe these spaces were designed to serve as a fallout shelter for the world's elite in case of a global catastrophe, or perhaps as a headquarters for the new world order. These theories were amplified by the fact that the airport's construction went $2 billion over budget and a cost overrun some theorize could only be explained by secret underground construction. Despite these theories being largely debunked, the rumors persist. In fact, DIA has embraced its status as a conspiracy hub, incorporating tongue-in-cheek references to these theories in its marketing and decor. So while it might just be an airport to some, to others, Denver International Airport is a symbol of intrigue, secrecy, and a portal to the unknown. The Greenbrier Hotel and the Denver International Airport on the surface could not be more different. One a luxurious historic resort nestled in the Allegheny Mountains, the other an expansive modern airport in the heart of the Rockies. Yet both share a common thread of intrigue, secrecy, and widespread speculation about their supposed roles in governmental conspiracies. The Green Briar Hotel, with its picturesque golf courses and sumptuous interiors, hid a secret for over three decades. A sprawling bunker, designed to house Congress in the event of nuclear war, lay concealed beneath its grounds. The bunker's existence, known only to a select few, was finally unveiled in 1992, revealing a reality more strange than fiction. Similarly, Denver International Airport, with its sprawling land area, otherworldly art, and rumored underground tunnels, 
has become a hotbed of conspiracy theories. From murals depicting post-apocalyptic scenes to a colossal horse statue with fiery red eyes, the airport is teeming with elements that inspire both curiosity and fear. The alleged existence of vast underground bunkers and tunnels, despite being officially debunked, continues to capture the public's imagination. Comparing these two locations, it's fascinating to note the overlap in their timelines. The Greenbrier's bunker, though built during the height of the Cold War, was only officially acknowledged in 1992. Interestingly, this coincides with the early planning and construction phases of the Denver International Airport, which opened in 1995. This temporal proximity has led some conspiracy theorists to suggest that the reveal of the Greenbrier bunker was a distraction from the construction of a similar, but far larger and more sophisticated, complex beneath the Denver International Airport. While there's no substantial evidence to support this claim, it does add an extra layer of intrigue to the narrative surrounding these two iconic American landmarks. Now here's a little wrinkle in the story that makes the whole scenario a bit more intriguing. The year 1995 marked the completion of the Denver International Airport, the same year the classified congressional bunker at the Greenbrier Hotel was exposed and decommissioned. Now isn't that a coincidence? One secret government project ends just as another potentially suspicious facility opens. Now it's important to note that the disclosure of the Greenbrier bunker was initiated by an investigative report from the Washington Post, and not an intentional government announcement. But still, the synchronicity of these two events has fueled speculations and given conspiracy theorists another layer to their theories. Let's venture deeper into some intriguing coincidences and lesser-known facts about the Greenbrier Hotel and Denver International Airport. These places are not just linked by conspiracy theories, but also have unexpected connections that further fuel the imaginative speculation. Firstly, the timing of the revelation about the Greenbrier's bunker and the completion of Denver International Airport. The bunker at the Greenbrier was exposed in 1992, the same year that construction on Denver International Airport began. While this could be purely coincidental, the temporal link has not gone unnoticed by those inclined towards conspiratorial thinking. Additionally, both locations have ties to the Freemasons, a fraternal organization often associated with secret societies and conspiracy theories. The dedication stone of Denver International Airport contains a Masonic symbol, and the time capsule beneath it is addressed to the people of Colorado in 2094 inches from the New World Airport Commission, a group that apparently never existed. For the Greenbrier Hotel, its designer, Dorothy Draper, was known for her distinctive style using Freemason and Illuminati symbols, further fueling theories of secret society's involvement. Another noteworthy point is the significant funding each location received from the government. The Greenbrier Bunker, of course, was a government project. Denver International Airport, meanwhile, received substantial federal funds for its construction, despite being a project that seemingly could have been handled at the state level. Some posit that once the Greenbrier bunker was exposed, a new, more covert facility was needed. Enter Denver International Airport. This theory suggests the possibility that the airport serves as the new protective fortress, this time not just for Congress, but potentially for a broader set of the government and possibly military elite. Could this be the case? Or are these merely coincidences in an ever-evolving world? As we navigate through these theories, it's crucial to approach them with an inquisitive mind, but also a generous dose of skepticism. For now, these remain intriguing conjectures, blending facts, assumptions and imaginative narratives into a fascinating puzzle. Finally, let's consider the size of Denver International Airport. It's notably the largest airport in the US by total land area, nearly twice the size of the next largest, Dallas-Fort Worth. This, combined with reports of large amounts of soil being moved during construction, has led some to speculate about what might be hidden under all that acreage. Could it be a modern version of the Greenbrier Bunker, built for a new era of concerns? Now we delve into the realm of evidence and debunking. For conspiracy theories to take hold, there must be a grain of truth, an element of mystery or anomaly. For both the Greenbrier Hotel and Denver International Airport, these elements certainly exist giving rise to myriad theories. In the case of the Greenbrier Hotel, the secret was real, a hidden bunker designed for congressional continuity in case of a nuclear attack. This was no mere speculation, but an actual physical fact. 
but its revelation in 1992 didn't inspire fears of an ongoing secretive operation. Rather, it confirmed a historical strategy from the Cold War era that was no longer relevant in the post-Soviet world. The Denver International Airport, however, continues to be a hub for conspiracy theories despite multiple attempts to debunk them. Many point to the eerie murals, strange symbols and capstone mentioning a New World Airport Commission as evidence of something sinister. However, airport officials and artists involved have offered explanations. The murals depict environmental destruction and restoration, not apocalypse. The symbols are Navajo language characters and references to the area's mining history. And the New World Airport Commission was simply a group of local business and political leaders aiming to bring a new world-class airport to Denver. And what of the supposed vast underground network? Airport officials acknowledge the existence of an automated luggage system that never worked as intended, leading to acres of unused tunnels. But they deny the presence of anything more secretive or sinister. And as always, stay curious and thanks for watching.